Again, only this time in a minivan on the way to an airport in Sweden with a name that I can't pronounce. And I'm with GF Williams. If you're into cars and you're on Instagram, you've definitely seen this guy's stuff. I'll put a link Thank below you. to your profile. And a friend of ours in the back who's, well, passed out asleep because it's been a long day. We've only had um, a few days of ice driving and now we're on the road heading to London because we're about to embark on our next adventure for the next four days, which is the drive down to Geneva in an eclectic group of cars for the International Motor Show. Let's hit it. All right, Instagram post of the day has got to be the snow explosion Batmobile on Ewan Olsen's profile shot by Oscar. Uh, Oscar was in the video before this, so definitely go and check out his stuff, but how crazy is that? I, I think it's also quite appropriate considering we have been sliding this car around for the past two days, but in terms of drama, it doesn't get much cooler than that. Just you at an airport. It's so small. Yeah, private plane. <laughs> That's it. The whole airport. The suitcase doesn't work very well in the snow. There might be at least four or five of us. We <laughs> four or five of us. <laughs> what is it? A, a Cessna. You watch. We'll get in here, and the queue will be half a mile long. They've managed to fit a car in here. <laughs> Busy. So, GF, what's been the highlight of the trip? Drifting Batmobile. Drifting the Batmobile. I mean, that's just ridiculous. What's been the low light of the trip? Crashing the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there are some pretty good pictures of it being beached. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, this must be my 14th flight in three weeks. I'm actually not getting bored of it, it's pretty cool. Particularly when you're landing at places like this. One minute ago, when I turned up here, there was not a single plane on the runway at all. In fact, there is now actually only this plane. It's a crazy, crazy place. The smallest airports I've ever been to have been in Sweden. Anyway, time to board. Just landed in Stockholm, my transfer to London. The worst thing about transfer, I don't mind transfers. Like transfers I quite like, get out, stretch your legs, do a bit of shopping. The worst thing about transfers is having to go through security twice. Like twice? It's I mean, I carry more, I got more cables in my bag than the storeroom of Dixon's. It's like, it's so intense. You get undressed, hat off, belt off, shoes off, all your stuff out of the bag. And I've got some weird camera kit and they always take it all out. They take out everything, and they're really intrigued by the stabilizing gimbal. That always looks funny. Anyway, we've got a very short uh, layover, and then we're on to Heathrow. See you in a tick. Welcome 
Welcome to England. How was your flight, GF? That's good. Productive. Both been editing. Yeah, apparently it's 10 degrees here, so practically the Bahamas compared to where we've been, which was actually minus 10. Also, I didn't think I needed to share with you my uh, second flight because they're all much of a muchness. Anyway, London Heathrow, baggage check, and then onwards to a friend's house. Heathrow to central London, well, Paddington Station, in just 15 minutes via Heathrow Express. Reason being, Uber situation at Heathrow was a complete mess, like traffic out of the door. Uh, I think there was like a crash in the car park or something, so it's completely blocked. Anyway, as it happens, all things uh, work out in the end, and I got into the central much quicker and much cheaper than I would taking an Uber, so thanks very much, Heathrow Express. Onwards to Battersea. That's another thing about London and taxi drivers and, and actually like don't get me wrong I love taking Ubers but London taxi drivers no substitute knowledgeable friendly just all around a great experience anyway can't believe it so in this in this vlog I have I started my morning funnily enough in a Batmobile in Sweden taking two planes a train and a London taxi and now I'm finally here, so I'm going to uh, take this opportunity to end it here and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Ciao.